Good, good evening, everybody, and oops, welcome back to Kelly's Little Ones Nursery. So I know it's been a bit since I've done a video for you all. I just come, I just came on here to do a little bit of a chat, and um, can you see Jace? Say hi, everybody. I'm sitting in Mommy's yellow chair. Can you see him? So I came on here, and as you um, to tell you guys that I just thought I'd chat with you a little bit and let you kn let you know that um, God has put me towards a new path. To, he has led me down a new path. And what that path is, is um, what I want to do is become an advocate for children in the foster care system. I think what inspired me was my heart led me to it. And what inspired me was a new vlogger that I had just recently subscribed to. Her name is Hey Hey Mama, and her name is Christy, and she is a foster mom, and she is also and a, an a, an a, a adoptive mom, and um, I don't know. I I'm not sure how I came across her channel, but she was talking about how she is not just a foster parent and an an an, an adoptive parent, but that she also advocates for these kids. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if she's a court-appointed advocate, but she, how she does advocate, advocate for her children in her care. And I was watching several of her videos. She was talking about, um, she does several videos, um, um, foster care reality. She doesn't necessarily, you know, she still has to protect the privacy of the children she has in her home because they're wards of the state. But she talks about the reality of, excuse me guys, my nose itches, the reality of being a foster parent and what it takes and what it's like. And and then God spoke to me and is leading me down a path in becoming a, gosh, my nose itches, a advocate for children in the foster care system. Because, you know, those children need a voice. They need a voice. They need someone to speak up for them, right? They need someone to speak up for them and they need a voice because they have judges and court appointed attorneys and social workers but i want to become a a court appointed advocate to be a voice for children in need and and even if i have to start out as kind of volunteer with a certain agency or whatnot and have a partner who can show me the ropes and what a volunteer does. I've been doing some research um, is they're assigned a partner to work with. They, ha uh, they have to go through like certain amount of hours of training. I just read on that today. 
I mean, I've read on it several times. And, um, and so they have to go through, like, I think 30 or 40 hours of training, and then they get assigned to work with an already court appointed partner who can show them the ropes. And what an advocate does is you get at least one or two cases and your job is to do the research, you know, be there for the child, counsel that child, um, you're to you you can you're assigned to um be in court and maybe testify for that child if need be or or um take notes and you know just just make sure that that child that you're assigned to is is the needs are being met as well as the families too because you're you're for the children but you want them to have a successful and happy childhood and a successful and happy family and you and it sounds like a kind of a difficult job but I don't know. God has led me down this path, and I am, I've been doing some research on it, and I think that uh, this is what God wants me to do. So, um, I, that's why I came on to chat with you today with both Leland and Jace, and as you can see, both Leland and Jace. There you go. Can you see Jace better? Can you see Jace better? There you go. You can see that they're both wearing the same. Oh, my nose. Why does my nose itch every time I get on camera? You can see that they're both wearing the same outfit today. They're both wearing the um, gray and white shorts romper with a purple dinosaur or a purple dinosaur sorry green dinosaur i meant to change them into this outfit after they like probably the day after they came home from their auntie cindy's for being there for a week but i never did so i did it today but and so i thought doing this chat, during this chat with you, I would take Leland, bring Leland and Jace into the, into the frame. Lexi is over there. She's still in her outfit that I put her in on the day before, um, her cousin Michelle went home. And so, I thought I'd chat with you about that and and um, tell you about my new, new path I'm pursuing in life and that and um, sorry Jace and um, my new calling that I believe that God spoke to me and um, I believe that he wants me to be an advocate for children in the foster care system and you know I think I'd be a good I think I'd be good at that I think I'd be good at that um I went on one website the other day it was like it was a Georgia site and the this the uh description said something to the effect that that if you're visiting this site you're taking the first step into your 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 step into becoming an advocate for those who 
can't speak for themselves. So, so, and also, last week is when I kind of felt the urge and the calling to my heart from God to do this. I was at dialysis, and I was just doing what I usually do, play on my DS, and um, I was playing on my Nintendo DS and watching my usual morning shows, and all of a sudden, like, I don't know, like, this vo voice came to me because I had watched my new vloggers, vlogger family's video that, hey mama, that she's a f about, and how she talked she done several videos on how how she's a foster parent and an adoptive parent, and that if anybody would, if you were interested, you know you could you could comment down below, and she could do some research for whichever state you're in. And I had commented back on the video that I, on one of her videos that I watched, telling her that your video, that her videos, as well as, you know, God had inspired me to look into doing more research and becoming a child advocate for children in the foster care system. Although I was never in foster care myself, but, um, I had a good friend in high school that was her, when during her freshman year, and uh, I went over to that house a few times for vi to visit with her, and she'd come over on the weekends to get out of that house, and then I've spent the night over there a couple times, and she this her foster parent had several children. The house was actually not immaculate. Plus, she had a brother living with her, and she was taking care of her elderly mother. So that's a lot of responsibility. And as far as I know, she was a single person taking care of her elderly mother and having a brother living with her, as well as several different foster children of all ages. I can't remember how many people, but it was just, it was kind of chaotic, actually. So it's like, and I think on that, too, and I think, I wonder if they have, if any of those children, sorry, back in the day, had anybody to stand up and advocate for them besides a social worker or a court-appointed attorneys or guardian at litems or, you know, things like that. What an advocate is is just your average, everyday person from your surrounding community that can, that can if you want, anybody can do it, is if you just need the proper training to become a court-appointed um, child advocate, anybody could do it because it kind of it could probably take some of the load off, you know, the social workers, you know, because the social workers they have sometimes some social workers I'm sure have tons of cases and tons of children, and and you know it's just. And as an advocate, you know, I think I would be good at taking that child and mentoring them and counseling them and just being there for them, whether it's abuse situation or neglect or just, you know, hard times on the family. You know, that child needs someone to say, hey, I have this person that can speak for me besides my social worker. So that is my calling.
and I intend to keep on pursuing it. And what I did was take a first step today. And what I did was I found this website um, last Tuesday and, uh, and it gave me a kind of an online form to, um, to fill out your name, your first name, your last name, uh, an email address and a phone number. It's the, uh, the program name is the Spokane County Juvenile Court C-A-S-A -A slash G-A-L. I don't know what that means, but I filled out my, I filled out some information and uh, I gave them my, my uh, phone number, not my house phone number, but my cell phone number. And uh, they e and I got an email back saying thank you for your inquiry of becoming a an advocate. Someone will contact you you within days within a few within a few days. Your information has been sent to my information has was sent to the. Spokane County Juvenile Court, a or C C A S A, and so my information, with my name and my email address and things like that, my phone, my so my basically my information has been sent to the Spokane County Juvenile Court, and so they they know that I'm. I'm expressing interest in becoming an advocate and hopefully in within the next few days because this is only Sunday somebody will be calling me on my phone and and I can tell them a little bit about me and see if um, I can either get some more information or if I, if there's anything I can do that I can help, because I know that, like I said, I read that you needed training and stuff like that, so, um, and I know that it also said how many, about how many times per month would you be available, and I thought, oh, that was one small, like, one little number, I'm like, uh... I couldn't think about, I couldn't think of the right number to say because I kind of didn't answer, I didn't understand that question. How many times per month could you be available? I probably should have put four, but I put three. See, due to my, due to my health situation, being on dialysis, that's a factor to think about that I probably that I'm going to be truthful about when I talk to somebody and also the situation on the fact that I don't drive is another. So there's things that I hope that still can be worked out if possible because I'm still, I, I really am expressing an interest in doing this and so I just wanted to come on and chat with you guys and and just tell you what my thoughts are on this and um, tell you that this is my new calling that I think that God has called me to, to do and work on. And I also have a um, case manager as well, a personal case manager um, that... I'm sure has a whole bunch of resources that I can, that I can, that she would know a lot more than even I would know or the right people to contact, to connect. And I, 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 I hope to pursue this and I, this is what I want to do because I just feel that 
I could make a difference in a child's life. So if you guys could please keep me in your thoughts and your prayers and pray to God that I that I can fulfill a, and make a difference in a child or children's lives and their families. Please keep me in your prayers. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below and tell me what you think. Um, hit that red subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you'll have uh, so you won't miss, so you won't miss, um, notif or videos from us and from me, Le uh, Leland, and Jace. We want to thank you guys all so much for watching and have a very blessed Sunday. God bless and thank you for watching. Bye.